West Ray Island, population 550 people, hundreds of seals, countless seabirds. It's a community which would go to the ends of the earth to protect their pristine environment. But they have welcomed this. Standing some 67 metres tall, the state-of-the-art wind turbine dominates much of the landscape. The sort of development likely to be fiercely opposed in communities across the UK. Here, though, not a single planning objection. That doesn't mean that everybody on the island likes wind turbines. Uh, there are a number who definitely don't. But if there's an opportunity for a wind turbine, then let it be owned by the community with all the profits going back into the community. In fact, the island has embraced green energy for years. There's plenty of wind about. But there's been nothing on the scale of this new £1.5 million project, which is solely owned by the islanders. The ladies of West Ray's Knitting Circle are well acquainted with the business plan. The turbine has been paid for by grants and bank loans, but it will eventually pay this community an estimated £200,000 in annual profit. It really is a good thing, and I think the money that will come from it in the long run, I mean, obviously we've got bills to pay and such like in the early stages, but in the long run, the money that comes from it will, will do so much to help Westry. And this island needs help. The abandoned crofts tell their own story of a shrinking population. Still, many other villages nationwide may also be attracted to green energy, if there's money to be made. Of course, in many ways, this beautiful landscape is unique. And yet the people here believe that their example could be used to make renewable energy projects more accepted by communities across the country. The idea is to get local people involved at every level, to give them ownership of the scheme, and to make them believe that there are real benefits, not just for themselves, but also for their environment. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Westray Island.